Okay, I wanted to walk you through uh, the instructions for setup for the scanner bin. So you will receive it in a package like this from Amazon. Um, just go ahead and open it, take it out of the package, um, cut the package if you need to. There we go. Kind of have to work it out because it's, it's tightly packed. Um, you'll see a binder clip there, so you just open that up take out the instructions, and then note that there will be two adhesive uh, bumpers in the middle of this cutout. Um, sometimes they fall out during shipping, so check the bag, check other areas if they're in there um, so that you don't lose them. And if, if you can't find them, of course, I would be happy to send you replacements if you just email me. Um, so to set up the box, you start by opening it up like this. Um, take this flap first and fold it in followed by the two side flaps, and then the back flap there. Push those down, push, push that one down. And spin it around like this so you can kind of get it set at the bottom, and now it's ready to go. Um, you'll note that on the side here, uh, because of the shipping format, you'll have a crease that you'll want to flatten back out um, so that the side wall, when you're looking at it, is straight. So that's how to set up the box. Um, then what you'll want to do is take your iPhone or your smartphone and uh, go to the App Store and search for a document scanner. And there are a number of free applications that you can download. Um, I have a couple that I recommend um, specifically, and you know some of them are paid obviously, but spe specifically I would recommend Adobe Scan. Um, because it tends to work the best uh, with the scanner bin and it's got a great user interface. So that's that top one in the middle there. Um, so to set up the rest of the scanner bin, uh, which is mainly the alignment bumpers, you want to open up the app of your choice, place it on the scanner bin, take a document, um, so you could use the instructions for example, and put it ideally in the, uh, in the back right corner there. And all you're looking for when you place your phone on here is to check to make sure that the entire document is visible uh, in the screen of the scanning application. And when you take a scan, you can confirm that. And you can see that the full page is, is visible there. Then you can either mark the box uh, and move your phone and place the the adhesive bumpers where you marked, or you can just go ahead and and take them off and place them. I would put one here at the bottom on the left and one at the top on the right. Um, and then at that point, you'll have the adhesives in place. So I'll just do it really quick for your phone specifically. And now when you wanna go scan, you can just quickly put your phone back in place and you are ready to go.